Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Absolute pleasure to speak to both of you. How are you today? Okay? Great. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm great, thank you. So I came to Fresh completely naively, which I suppose maybe is how you really intended this film and was really lulled into a false sense of security, thinking I was on solid ground, um, contemporary, you know, dating in the contemporary era. And then after the first act really was hit by a train. Um, so starting with you, Mimi, what journey did you want to take audiences on with this film and why? I think there was so much in the script to play off of and the experience of reading the script. I had those similar moments of feeling like completely like, wait, what, what just, what did I just read? What just happened? And so I think it was important for me to make sure that visually I was giving that same experience to the viewer. Um, and so it was about finding which of those moments I really wanted to accentuate to make sure that um, people could have that really fun sort of what the, what the F kind of, you know, experience that, that I had when I first read it. And for you, Jojo, I mean, I think at the heart of this film, of course, we have lots of tropes kind of upended from, from romantic films, but also from horror. But at the heart of it, there's a lot in there about the strength of women and, and of female friendships. Um, so what attracted you to the role of Molly? And, and what role do you think um, that the female friendship has in the film? Well, I love uh, Molly's character. I thought she was a great balance of being able to stretch my acting abilities in terms of doing comedy and doing, you know, action and, um, you know, showing all the range of emotions and things of that nature. Um, also, I completely understand friendship between women. I have a large group of friends from college that I'm still very close with to this day. And then I have my best friend I also met from in college, but she's outside of the group of girlfriends. So it's like, I completely understand Molly and Noah's uh, dynamic and their um, the 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 deepness in their platonic relationship um, and how important it is. So I just I love Molly. I read the script and the same as Mimi. I thought, wow, this is crazy, um, and I would love to be a part of it. And Mimi, can you talk a bit about how you decided on your cast? I mean. Obviously, everyone was blown away by Daisy's performance, particularly in Normal People. And, you know, here she's like put into a very different scenario, but really shines again. And of course, um, you've got Jojo, Sebastian, Deo. So how do you decide on your cast and how do you know the right people for the roles? I think that, you know, I've been kind of saying that the answer to that question, I feel like just comes down to commitment. And there, there was... This, this film is kind of the type of film where I needed everyone who was involved to be completely committed and trusting and um, couldn't have a lot of hesitation because I think that would have come across on camera. So um, just really making sure that everyone was on board and everyone, Jojo, Daisy, Sebastian, they all came in with the same level of enthusiasm for the film. And so I think that's really what made those performances so good was really just their own sort of like volition and intention around each role. And the films, you know, definitely got a particular tone to it. Um, I love like the soundtrack. I love the, the sort of the way it's shot. Um, but there were also, you know, lots of kind of extreme scenes and, you know, tense scenes to film. So what was your experience on set, Jojo? Oh, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was way different than anything I had done before. And I, I remember stepping onto set when we were out in the woods and it was the first time I felt like I was in a different world in a project, you know, and that I was like, this is why I wanted to act, you know, to feel like I'm in an imaginary place. Of course, maybe it could be a real thing, you know, which we hope nobody would experience running through a wooded forest in the fog, trying to save their life. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it felt surreal to me. And so that was oh, so fun. And then being able to do action and, you know, Sebastian is a pro, you know, he, he's been trained by Marvel. <laughs> and so he's literally a superhero. So he was like the perfect person to learn how to do action with and being able to like literally become childlike and make action noises. And like when we were practicing and stuff like that and really let go um that was the most fun part on set and then Mimi just made it super fun to express ourselves and to collaborate we would laugh we would joke and then we would get serious and it was just a very fluid environment um 
in it. I had an amazing time. Like even when we were freezing cold, Mimi wanted rain for one of the scenes, and I was like, "Please, God, don't matter. Get these rain machines." I hope they don't approve them. Um, I don't know what happened with that, but thankfully we didn't have to. <laughs> Be in the Sorry, yeah, Mimi, you do you do have this incredible tone to the film. I love, you know, the, the the soundtrack. I love the, you know, the fact that it's completely subverting expectations. So, what do you hope people will take away from watching it in that sense? And obviously, it goes to extremes. Um, but you know, what is there to be said about the everyday experiences women have, and and kind of the threats that they're under? I think it's just a um, a hope of taking away a level of awareness, maybe that w wasn't there for, I mean, I think all women have that, but um, certainly men, and it's it's really not their fault, but just men that they don't live in a woman's head every day. So I think it's a nice way to sort of start a conversation with people in your life about, you know, making sure that you are safe and that you are taking precautions when you are in situations where you're with people you don't know, um, just because, you know, we care about each other and want to take care of each other. But I think in terms of an experience of a film, you know, I, I just want people to, to feel something at the end of the day and really have, have those kind of like hit by a truck moments, because I think um, ultimately that's as artists, what we want. For anyone even if I was a painter or whatever it's just like eliciting um some emotion you know and that's, that's all we can ask for thank you so much for sharing all that with me and I can't wait for everyone else to see this incredible film thanks so much thank you, thank you. Lovely to speak to you thank you bye